Welcome. Things that make a man to fall head over heels for you. Hello, this is Steven Biko. I'm from Real Fresh Wisdom. And now I'm going to tell you about what makes a man fall passionately in love with you. I'm going to speak about some really great stuff today. And I just want you to preface it by saying that this is an information that will help you to understand guys and antecedents in a man's mind before he falls in love. So I'm hoping that guys will do the same for you. In reality, the purpose of this video is to assist you to attract a man who will put the same effort to understand you. So let's get into the secrets that make a man fall head over heels for you. Now, first and foremost, hello, we are shooting, so pay attention. I want you guys to participate in showing by commenting below as we go on. Eh? So, be attentive. Eh? Today, I'm going to speak about the hows and whys of making this happen. It is crucial to take action. I'm going to tell you some practical tactics that you can use right away to elicit the sense that you love in him. The importance of action cannot be overstated. And you must be able to take away from this video and act on it. And I'll show you precisely how to accomplish them. The first one is deep connection. To fall in love with you, a guy must feel emotionally and personally attached to you. You will need to identify the mutual interest and activities that you can share. The vulnerability is required of him. He has to be able to really dig deep and develop the oxytocin, that intimate attachment where he doesn't want to let you go. With you, he feels truly venerable, safe and present. So many women understand this, but it comes in creating it, they go blank. So the inverse, what people don't realize is that guys like women need to feel comfortable in a relationship. So as I indicated before, the way to develop the link is to create the safe space which you accomplish by holding space. Here's what's fascinating about holding space. When you mention holding space, most people have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, how do you retain space? And it almost sounds too confusing. However, it is both simple and strong. This is when you can simply be with a man and allow him to share. There are times in a man's life when he just needs to convey his feelings. He needs to express his views and feelings. But he will not do it in the same manner that you female companions do it. As men, we frequently take much longer to get our point. As we tend to create and work on it as we speak. So, you will do with your girls is jump in and connect. You know what I mean, eh? I felt the same way at times throughout my life. Or you'll give him advice on tactics, then jump in and interrupt him while he's trying to talk. That safety is created by a woman who can strongly hold space, which involves being comfortable with and quiet and simply being with him in his vulnerability and is open because he's vulnerable. That's when the link is made. That's when he feels profoundly connected because he can truly be something for me and she just waits. She just waited two or three minutes for my reaction because males they just think more slowly. When we sense that you're holding that space, it ties us so that profoundly because we feel welcome and near to you in that space. The second step is to make him feel manly. There's no better high for a guy than feeling alive and vitalized and stimulated by the core male energy that bubbles and flows within us. And when he's in that energy surrounding you and gets experience, that high daily basis, it's a wonderful sensation to us. That's the sense he gets when he's in his best mood near you and focused on his goal. And when you link that emotion to you because he gets experience it around you. And he'll fall in love with you because the beautiful feeling of being in your company. You could be wondering, but wait, isn't this responsibility? Shouldn't it be him who is feeling masculine? So, how do you go about this? How can you make him feel that way about you as a woman? 
Well, this is obligated to elicit this own manly energy. You may play an important role in assisting him. And the woman who plays an important role in assisting the guy is invoking his masculinity as the ones that who make those men fall in love. He may also be your provider, which is number three. So one thing that will certainly tie a man profoundly in you is when he feels like he can ask. I had a beautiful example. Males walk around saying, we do good. You already know what, where came in. That, that is correct. Eh? That is completely correct. We simply get this high from being the provider. Knowing that we are capable, knowing that we are competent. So we want to feel this way while we are with you. It is massively what's the word. It's a really empowering feeling for a man to be what he can when he's around you. And when he feels like that day after day, month after month, he'll bond deeply with you because he feels so fantastic and will fall in love with you. How do you go about doing this? The very opposite of that emotion, the exact opposite of feeling like a provider is feeling inadequate, inept, incapable of doing the job. So how can you make him feel like a decent provider, like he's genuinely capable? It is incredibly simple and my girl is fantastic at it. She gets this down and makes me feel like king every time. And it's just ordinary gratitude. Gratitude for a job well done. It's not admiration followed by suggestion about how he should improve. It's not gratitude. There's some criticism for that he didn't accomplish correctly. It's plain and adulterated gratitude for what he's done for you. So John Gotham has done extensive study on thriving relationships and discovered that thriving relationship has 5 to 1 ratio of 5 good encounters for every one negative contact. You're evaluating your day. You are connecting, you are engagement with him, and at the same time, you are continuing. How much have I enjoyed him today? Is it possible to turn that up? Is it possible to raise that? Of course, he should appreciate you as well, but as you increase the intensity, you will generally instill love in him. That will return to you and consider it like a man nourishment. Consider it as I had fed him five times today and I have had only given him one critic right and he's reprovocating for you. And it's in this way that you cultivate an empowered loving friendship. Yeah? The fourth factor is acceptance. I cannot emphasize how critical this is. Every time I have had deep, beautiful love with a woman, it's because I knew there were elements of myself that I wasn't totally proud of and fully owning. Before I came to the table, and she was so accepting that, that once I told her those things, or once I revealed those things, she just had this profound acceptance. I simply thinking, whoa, what I really love right now. I feel so profoundly embraced since she loves every aspect of me. She has complete control over me. She is not falling in love with a superficial figure. It's not because I did anything outside outstanding. It's the deepest things in me that she genuinely came to embrace. And that's the link. I have something with her that no one else does. That profound love relationship has simply awakened the utter love in me. How did you make this? What makes a man to feel so accepted? So what are we doing if we feel truly accepted? We are actually lowering our guard because we all know that we are not flawless. We know that we have problems. We know that we don't measure up in some areas. And that if we think that we are going to be ridiculed or rejected from them, most guys throw up a wall and this shield is looking good program. So feeling the vibe of accepting that might really help him to remove the wall and open up, become vulnerable. And that comes from embracing yourself completely. If you can't accept yourself completely, he will know that you can't accept as well. And here's a little anecdote about the moment I realized and loved my woman. The moment that I realized I was completely head over heels in love with her. It was a moment that may not accept the illicit affection of this situation. So, she comes to see me. She just dating comes to visit me in the weekend of vacation. And we rent a cabin up the woods. And the first time in this cabin, we are going to share a bed. She says to me, I'm sleeping with you. And just that you know right now, 
I said, I know. We are simply going to have fantastic time in bed. When I woke up early in the morning and she's not in bed, where is she? Where has she gone to? I wondered. And when I walk out into the hallway, she's sleeping in the photon. Babe, what are you doing out here in the hallway? I ask. Now, we have just been dating for about five to six months, but it's long distance, right? This is the first excursion out. And she goes in and I ask her why she's out here the right now. And she has two responses. She may either lie to me and give me a convincing response and she can be vulnerable and offer me the truth. But she'd have to accept herself and who she was. So she chose to be vulnerable and tell me the truth. Hmm? This is extremely uncomfortable to admit, she says. But I am truly gassy last night and I didn't want to subject you to that. And I was eventually giggling, thinking, oh my God, I adore this woman. She accepts herself so completely that she can't just own, own it right now. And guess what? I do get gassy from time to time. And I am confident that she'll accept me at this time. And it was a great time of demonstrating self-acceptance. And by doing so for yourself, you will make your partner feel even more loved and kindle that love in him for you. I can only imagine how vulnerable one must feel by sharing the vulnerability that you share with her. Yeah, That's a big deal. Number five is becoming a believer in him. I cannot tell you how many times we tackled last night on the significance of knowing what guys actually want from a woman. What is this about a woman that guys get from a girlfriend that they don't get anywhere else? And I can tell you as a male, when you have that supporter, when you have the believer, when you have that lady who just eh, simply feels you to do it and knows that you're a man and believes in you, we want to be part of that. We want to take the next step. And it's an incredible feeling to having person behind us who has our back. We do this what we're actually saying to the man is, I believe you are competent. I think you can accomplish it for me. Which makes him want to stand up and be hero once more. You constantly give him this feeling. How can he not fall in love with you from the link with you? I do not ask your question right now. Consider this is a moment. Look at this man. He is self-assured, athletic, and he has physique of a Greek god. The dude is incredible. Let me clarify the reason I bring up this because most guys on the outside appear to have it all together to be confident. We appear to know what we are doing. We appear to have a strategy. In reality, this is how we are indeed to appear. That's how they are made. The fact is that most of us are insecure about certain aspects of our lives. Most of us don't have everything sorted out. We may not be able to predict how things will end up. That, I believe, is true plan. I'm hoping that this plan, but I'm not sure. As a result, there are some incredible moments. How can you believe in him? The important periods in a man's life, the crucial moments when he has a major presentation to deliver, when he's going to pursue a new business, when he's going to create a show like this one, and when he's going to do something that matters to him. And when you can look, in, look at him in the eyes and say, Babe, you got this. That's when you know you've made it. Babe, I believe in you. You're going to kill it, babe. You should give him a huge kiss before he walks out of the door. And he'll have the feeling of a champion. I'm getting tingles and there's nothing exactly. When a woman stares at us in the eye, experience the tingles. We know that she believes in us. And sometimes she believes in us more than we believe in ourselves. And there are things that we think that you should have it all together. As a man, freak your own. I have self-doubt, such as presenting on topics covered by prominent YouTubers who are fantastic presenters, right? One of the biggest indicators that I need to keep delivering an excellent video is when you press the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do it right now, since it provides me a purpose to keep real fresh wisdom family going. Continue to improve and to and make great impacts in the lives of others. And then there is one who says, you got this like you can do it, Steve. Sure, and I got this. I say it's enormous and it's quite significant. Sixth, 
he may leave his mission. One of the most stimulating, vitalizing sensations for a man is knowing that he's in the right track and you realize how att attractive a guy is. How appealing you'll find him when he's on that road, when you know that he's enthusiastic, when he's doing what he enjoys and lights him up. This is an excellent point. You will fall in love with such vigor, right? And for a guy, when he leaves that and he feels that he can live with you as a sight in his life and he let go of all the resistance and fall. He'll just fall for you and ride that train all the way to the end. But if a guy is unable to fulfill his mission or if he perceives the opposition, if he believes, oh, being with her will undermine my goal, this is when you'll encounter resistance. This hot and cold pattern is correct. And if he feels compelled to abandon his goal totally, men become depressed and worried and you will not have a companion worthy of love. Depression will physically diminish his ability to do so and the more he works towards the goal, the better he will feel about himself. So ladies, how do you tell a man that you will be a terrific partner to him while he's on the train? The secret to this is that it is truly extremely simple but not everything that is simple is easy. And this is what I mean. Are you fulfilling your mission? Because we are all seeing individuals in our lives to the fullest. What effect does he have on us? It motivates us. It essentially grants us permission. If they can accomplish it, then so I can. Or if they are, I will want to participate. So my question to you is, what has been on your mind? What have you been thinking about? What is a calling in your heart, the mind right now that is calling you to a higher level? It is summoning you to the next phase of your life. What is the book that you want to write and the business that you want to establish or the location that you want to visit? Are you bold enough to take that first step? Because when you leave your mission, he look at you and say yes like she's doing it. This that motivates me and I'm going to live my purpose more fully. That's fantastic and it doesn't have to be such a big deal. Many people believe that I must have enormous goals, that I must be accomplishing fantastic things. It may be that you simply enjoy quilting and you just do your thing and take that step. And he just walks through the room and when you're quilting and he gets a look of you, look at you when he's seeing that your own space and your purpose and it goes, I am falling in love with that. It really, I really enjoy watching her on a mission and knowing that she'll be there for me and mine. It's breathtaking, so lovely. Intense desire is number seven. Now I talk a lot about the desire of this channel and to see a lot of trainers talk about how to make him feel and chase you. I've done videos on it and know it speaks about critical things like creating an interesting life, having space and being prepared to walk away. All those notions not being 100% available on some of the coaches and will even teach gamely stuff that I obviously disagree with. But the crucial thing to remember, if you want a guy to fall in love with you, is that the pursuit he needs to be gradual and right. When a guy walks hand in hand with you, when he put, puts the effort over and over and he builds up his reward value in his mind, we as humans understand that everything of value requires labor. So when he's working for you and chasing you for months, if not years, it's a pro it produces a big sense of value and pride. It's almost as if I don't want to get to go on this now that I have fought so hard for it so long and you're not this advice extremely short term, right? And this works for a few months until like, well, we are together now. How am I expected to play games now that I've got the guy? How can I keep him interested that that's right? None of it, none of it, I'm telling you. But the secret to keeping him seeking and creating tremendous desire was a topic I really wanted to discuss and it's also vital that I wanted to record it. And another complete show of this is that shows that you want keeps a person thinking of you long term. What generates that long term drive without the use of any games at all? In fact, it works on scenes I discussed it today and the question is always, okay? So he's following me, but what happens once he catches up? A few months of being committed or married which generally speaks the desire. What retains that the pursuing energy? And here's the thing. It's not what you believe, no. That's probably not what thought 
and was to keep understanding the issue that you need to watch the video he's coaxing you but not committing in this channel to keep winning until next time have a good one and see you in the next one